Hi, this is Bupin the Tube. Welcome to my channel. I guess a lot of you have this problem, whether on your laptop or on your keyboard, that um, your sh that your at sign is shown here. So you imagine that if you press Shift and Two, it will convert it into at sign. But if you are using a different system, then you need to remap in order to get the add sign. If you want to find the add sign in my keyboard, it is if you press shift and this uh, comma sign next to the enter. So if I press hold shift and press this, this means add sign. Also in this video, I will show you how to remap your keyboard so that when you press shift and two, it would be as if you pressed shift and this comma to create the add sign. I will show you how to convert shift plus two into an add symbol. This is because one of my viewers has asked me this question and I thought it would be helpful if I could make a video, a kind of follow up to this other video that I have created for how to remap your keyboard. So as I said in this video of how to remap your keyboard, you need to create a script. Once you create the script, you right click on it, you click on edit. I've already added a couple of shortcut keys in here. And in this example, I want to convert my shift plus two into an add symbol. So all you need to do is to add this line into this script. You could find this script also in the description of this video and just run it. This plus sign means shift and two is just two and this double dots mean execute. Once you press shift and two, it would automatically create the add sign. Also, if you want to put comments in this script, you can use this symbol to add comments. Or if you don't want any command, you can put this uh, symbol in front of it to convert that command into a comment so that it will not be executed. Or you can just take it out from the script. But once you have put this new line in here, you just click close, click save. Once you double click on the script, it will replace the one that there. And please watch my other video of how to remap properly, which I give you in detail tutorial. But for now, this should run and help you to remap your keys. As simple as that. Hopefully this video was useful. If it was, please don't forget to subscribe. And I hope to see you in my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.